I'm Samantha Ridgewell from Empower Development, where we specialise in developing insurance professionals. This video has been designed for those who are studying their CII exams and want some guidance on the routes available for the Certificate, Diploma and Advanced Diploma exams. Before commencing your exams, it's worth checking if you might be entitled to any prior learning credits. These are often given for degrees in Maths, Business, Economics and Law, as well as other professional qualifications. Check out the link to see if you might be eligible. I recommend signing up as a member of the CII as you will need a valid membership to use your qualifications on your signature or your business cards. You'll also receive some discounts and opportunities to join the local institutes who will provide you with some revision support. There is a link for memberships included below. A certificate in insurance is the first level of your ACII. It's particularly useful for those who are looking to just get a grasp of the jargon and understand of how insurance organisations work, as well as for those who are looking to attain their full ACII. To achieve your CERT CII, you will need 40 credits. These typically come from completing three multiple choice exams at the certificate level, and you can also use credits from a higher level and from prior learning. There is one compulsory module for your certificate, which is IF1. After that, I recommend taking IF3 as it gives quite a broad understanding which will help you if you're going on to take your diploma exams. Following that, it's good to choose an option that's relevant to your role. So for example, if you work in claims, you might want to take IF4 and if you work in broken, you might want to take I10. If you work in the London market, there's an alternative route where you can attain your London market insurance certificate. Rather than taking the compulsory unit of IF1, you can complete LM1 and go on to complete LM2 and LM3. These modules include more information around reinsurance as well as the subscription market and different bodies that are involved working in the London market. We often get asked how long your certificate of insurance will take and it really depends on how much of your personal time you're willing to put into your revision as well as how comfortable you are with exams. An ambitious target is four months, however a realistic target is often six to eight months. I do recommend sitting exams close together as there can be quite a bit of crossover between the modules at this stage and once you're in the momentum and routine of revising it's much easier to keep that up. Once you've completed your certificate in insurance you'll move on to your diploma. The diploma in insurance requires deeper understanding in specific areas. In recent years there's been quite a lot of change in this area so if you are being given advice by a colleague just check whether they completed mixed assessment modules or if they sat the written exams before taking their advice. Historically, people used to sit this as written exams in April and October, but now it's available as multiple choice exams throughout the year with a coursework assignment. To achieve your diploma in insurance, you'll need 120 credits, 90 of which need to come from diploma level or above. There's one compulsory unit, which is MO5, Insurance Law. And there's a second compulsory requirement, which is either M92, Business and Finance, or Advanced Diploma Level, 530, Economics and Business. Diploma Level modules require a mixture of multiple choice exams and coursework. I recommend sitting the MO5 exam first, as this knowledge really will help you with the rest of the modules. And it does have a somewhat unfair reputation of being a tougher exam, so it's good to get it out of the way. We have created an article with tips to help you with this exam, as well as revision cards and practice questions, which are all available in the links below. Once you've completed your MO5, you've got a lot more choice over which exams to take next. So for example, if you don't like taking exams, you can move straight on to your advanced diploma and attain the remainder of your 90 credits from advanced diploma level coursework. Once you've completed MO5 and M92 or 530, really recommend planning out which exams you might take to complete your ACII. You can potentially sit too many diploma exams and obtain too many credits at that level, so it's really worth thinking through how you want to complete your full ACII as well as completing your diploma. If you enjoy the business modules, you can sit M92 as well as 530 to obtain points for your diploma and advanced diploma exam. Because of the flexibility of multiple choice exams and coursework, the time frame really varies person to person. A realistic goal is anywhere between 12 months to 24 months after you've completed your certificate in insurance.
For anyone who started completing their CII some time ago to put it on hold, there's fantastic news. You can now complete your advanced diploma level through coursework alone. In fact, you can attain your whole ACII just with the exams at certificate level and the insurance law module. The rest of your qualification can come from coursework, which means for anyone with conflicting priorities, you have a lot more flexibility over how you manage the qualification. The Advanced Diploma in Insurance requires 290 credits. 150 of those need to come from Advanced Diploma, which is effectively five coursework modules. 205 of them need to come from Diploma level or above. So that can be made up from further coursework modules at Advanced Diploma, or diploma level exams. The good news is the remaining 85 credits can come from any level, so can be made up from certificate exams. This is why it's really worth mapping out your full journey so you don't complete too many exams at diploma level, restricting your choices when it comes to your final credits. There's just one compulsory unit at advanced diploma level, and that is either advanced broken, advanced claims, or advanced underwriting. And you can, should you choose, sit all of those. Each module at advanced diploma level requires three pieces of coursework and a pass mark of 50%. 50% of your marks come from application and analysis, 30% from your knowledge and understanding, and 10% for structure, 10% for referencing. So spending some time planning and structuring your essay really can go a long way to passing your coursework modules. A realistic time frame if you want to complete your ACI at a steady pace is to complete one piece of coursework every month, so a module every three months. However, you can do this at a much quicker pace if you have got the time to allow it. Realistic goal is one to two years after completing your diploma. Let's summarise what you need to complete your ACII. Certificate in insurance requires 40 credits, three multiple choice exams with either IF1 or LM1. The Diploma in Insurance qualification requires you to complete your MO5 Insurance Law plus 65 credits from either Diploma or ACII coursework modules. To complete your ACII, you'll need 290 credits and 150 of those to come from Advanced Diploma level. You'll then need 55 credits or Diploma level or above and the remaining 85 credits that can come from any level. We've created a spreadsheet to make it easier for you to plan out your CII route. You can select the modules you're interested in taking and check you'll get the right credits at the right levels. This is also available in the links provided below. Good luck with your exams and if you have any specific questions just get in touch, we're very happy to help.